Hi guys, this is the first video lecture on stability of structures by me, Rahul. In this chapter, we are going to see about the buckling of frames. First, we have to study about the modes of buckling. There are four types of modes of failures in frames. I have drawn this already in order to in order to save time. These are all the four modes of buckling of frames. Two are based on side sway prevented, and two are based on side sway permitted. We have to find out the critical load responsible for these modes of failures. For that, we have to deal with some equations and derivations. Uh, first, we will see about critical load of a frame using neutral equilibrium in case of side sway buckling for these cases. In this case, the frame is fixed at the base and free to translate literally at the top. It is assumed that the frame's material behaves according to Hooke's law. That means that the deformation remains small and that there is no primary bending present in the frame prior to buckling. To differentiate the column properties from the beam properties, the subscripts are used are going to be used in this derivation when the frame buckles it assumes the shape indicated by the solid lines the total lines are the original orientation the forces acting on each of the individual members when the frame is thus deformed are shown in this these are all the force and moments which are induced while the frame is being buckled or swayed. It should be noted that the shears V, the shears V that arise from the bending of the horizontal member are neglected in comparison to the applied load P when dealing with the vertical members. Taking the coordinate axis, the equation of moment equilibrium for the vertical member is can be written as E i1 d square y by dx square plus p y equal to m a. In the next step, we are bringing E i1 to the denominator d square y by dx square plus k1 square y equal to m a by E i1. We are introducing a new term called k square, which implies that k square equal to p by e i 1. The solution for this equation is in the form of y equal to a sin k 1 x plus b cos k 1 x plus m a by p. The first boundary condition we are going to apply is y equal to 0 at x equal to 0. This is the common boundary condition for every fixed end condition. The solution we obtain by substituting these values is b equal to minus m a by p. The another boundary condition is dy by dx equal to 0 at x equal to 0. That means slope is 0 at x equal to 0 which leads to a equal to 0. Then we can rewrite the solution in form of y equal to m a by p into 1 minus cos k 1 x. Denoting the horizontal displacement of the column at x equal to l 1 by delta, we are just changing this y term equal to delta. Therefore, delta equal to m a by p into 1 minus k cos k 1 l 1. 
we are introducing another equilibrium condition called moment equilibrium that is delta equal to ma plus mb by p substituting this in the previous equation which leads to ma cos k1 l1 plus mb equal to 0 we are introducing another term called another relationship called slope deflection relationship by introducing that we get mb equal to 2 ei2 by l2 into 2 theta b plus theta c we know that theta b is equal to theta c for the rigid frame condition so we can get mb equal to 6 ei2 by l2 into theta b to determine the critical buckling load for this condition of frame we are introducing a compatibility condition at joint b which means that theta b is equal to the slope dy by dx at x equal to l1 by substituting that we get mb l2 by 6 ei2 equal to ma by k1 ei1 sin k1 l1 which in turn changes to 6 i2 by k1 i1 l2 ma sin k1 l1 minus mb equal to 0 to determine the stability condition we said the determinant of this equation equal to 0 which means that tan k1 l1 by k1 l1 equal to minus i1 l2 by 6 i2 l1 we are assuming that i1 equal to i2 equal to i l1 equal to l2 equal to l after cancellation of terms we obtain tan k l by k k l equal to minus 1 by 6 from which k l equal to 2.71 we know that k is equal to k square equal to p by a by substituting that we get the critical buckling load of p z r equal to 7.34 e i by l square this is the critical load for a fixed base portal frame free to move laterally at the top we are going to determine the critical buckling load of frames for the condition of side sweep preventer we get the mode of buckling of failure like this in this case for this condition how we are going to arrive the critical load let's see moment equilibrium for the vertical member shows that e i1 d square y by dx square plus p y equal to m a minus m a minus m b into x by l1 by bringing e i1 to the denominator we get d square y by dx square plus k1 square y equal to m a by e i1 into 1 minus x by l1 plus m b by e i1 into x by l1 the solution for this equilibrium equation is y equal to a sin k1 x plus b cos k1 x plus m a m a by p into 1 minus x by l1 plus m b by p into x by l1 we are substituting the boundary conditions one by one first boundary condition is y equal to 0 at x equal to 0 which gives b equal to minus m a by p and the second boundary condition is dy by dx equal to 0 at x equal to 0 which gives a equal to m a minus m b by k1 p l1 the solution changes to y equal to m a by p into 1 by k1 l1 sin k1 x minus cos k1 x plus 1 minus x by l1 plus m b by p into x by l1 minus 1 by k1 l1 sin k1 x since the upper end of the member cannot translate laterally because this condition is of side sweep prevented therefore y equal to 0 at x equal to l1 which reduces the above equation to m a into sin k1 l1 minus k1 l1 cos k1 l1 plus m b into k1 l1 minus sin k1 l1 equal to 0 second equation is obtained by considering the horizontal member therefore by applying the slope deflection equation we can write mb equal to 2 ei2 by l2 into 2 theta b plus theta c since theta c equal to minus theta b 
m b equal to 2 e i 2 by l 2 into theta b we are introducing the compatibility condition at joint b that is theta b of the horizontal member b equal to d y by d x at x equal to l 1 of the vertical member which gives m b l 2 by 2 e i 2 equal to minus m a by p into 1 by l 1 cos k 1 l 1 plus k 1 sin k l 1 minus 1 by l 1 minus m b by p into 1 by l 1 minus 1 by l 1 cos k 1 l 1 we are going to substitute the stability condition the stability condition is nothing but we are going to find out the determinants of above equations equal to 0 which leads to the equation 2 minus 2 cos k1 l1 minus k1 l1 sin k1 l1 plus l2 i2 k1 by 2 i2 into sin k1 l1 minus k1 l1 cos k1 l1 equal to 0 critical load is nothing but the smallest root of this equation in order to get that we are uh, assuming i1 i2 equal to i l1 l2 equal to l therefore we get kl sin kl plus 4 cos kl plus kl square cos kl equal to 4 which reduces to kl equal to 5.02 k square equal to p by i we know that by substituting that we get the critical buckling load of 25.2 ei by l square this is the critical buckling load for the frame with condition sideway preventer. Thank you for listening to this video. Thank you all.